Washington credit. Thought they played a re the, the really good team. Really good team. So give them credit. Uh, we'll learn from this and move forward. Questions? Same question that I, that I asked Jameson about experience and what separates teams in these final moments. Like, what is this team still trying to figure out, I guess, in some of those moments? You fought back at times. I mean, at Indiana, you fought back. But today, for them to close the way that they did, like, what is what is not happening in those? Well, we didn't make shots, for one. Missed a, missed a couple free throws. I think those were critical. Um, I thought some of our looks were really good at them, uh, to be honest with you. And then we had uh, probably two breakdowns defensively, but I just think we, we got to be able to make some of those those clean, easy looks. Some of those looks and like like Bruce missing the front end of two one and ones. He looks like maybe his legs. He looks a little fatigued. I don't. Know, are you seeing some of that? And do you need to develop more from your bench to help some yeah, of these guys maybe, out? Yeah, maybe. Maybe we might have to look at uh, we might have to look at that. Um, uh, you know, I don't know that that's. I know I know that's probably going to be a common thought with his legs, but you know, I think his. I think he's more than capable of, of uh, making that. So, um, but I do think we can we can con we need to get more out of our bench. Kind of going off that, what went into the rotation, uh, the, the decision to shorten the rotation tonight? You know, with uh, Zed and, and Dale playing less than ten minutes, there really you know a lot of large stretches of the game. You guys were only running six deep. It felt like, yeah, and that was just the, kind of the way the game went. No, I, I guess how close do you feel this team is to kind of breaking through the last couple of games here? You know, you've had a lot of shots that weren't falling, but were good looks. You yeah, know, maybe. Yeah, you know, I I really think I thought uh, you know I thought we had some really good stretches of play. I really did. I thought um, thought we did some really good things. I thought our effort, uh, Felix's effort in the second half was much better. Um, you know, I think we obviously got some guys, a couple guys that are struggling to make shots right now, um, but. Um, uh, we'll look. We'll look at it. Uh, I think when you're playing a good team, you know we just we had a, a, a few too many breakdowns, and then we, you know, we we can't shoot four or ten from the line uh, when you're playing a good team. But I think the score didn't really reflect how close this game was. Obviously, anybody who watched it knows that. So uh, give them credit again. It's a good team, veteran team. Give them credit. There was a few defensive breakdowns in your mind. Like when did those occur in the second half? Really, the last four or five minutes. I thought uh, they straight line drove us a few times. Uh, we didn't plug a gap uh, f uh, one time uh, that we certainly should have. And um, uh, our ball screen coverage, uh, that was another one. Do so you feel like you can build off of with Roddy? Because the last 10 minutes were mostly better, aside from that last minute turnover. But do you think there's things you can take away as positives? or is it just Yeah. Yeah, I like how he attacked. I really like how he attacked there late. Thought he had an opportunity to attack in the open floor one time, uh, where he kind of settled for that three. You know, we didn't do a good enough job getting to the line when we were in the bonus. So that's something I've got to help him with, and we've got to do a better job of. Uh, to, we got to be able to get to the line when we're in the bonus at that point, and we just didn't do it. And uh, when we did do it, we didn't convert. Obviously, sorry. Uh, obviously, Roddy. Uh, Jameson and, and Bruce are going to be your go-to scorers, but you mentioned needing more from your bench, but just guys in general. Are there guys on this team who can step up if those guys aren't, aren't hitting or being contained? Yeah, yeah but we gotta, you know, we've got to help them too, but I, I, believe, I absolutely believe we do. Um, but, um, you know, we, we've, we've got to help them, so um, that's going to be important for us as we continue to get into the guts of uh, Big Ten play. Late, the, the late stretches again. People talk about, coaches talk about, about it. You know, well, my team just knows how to win games. We know how to win it at the end, win it at the end. You guys are struggling in that situation. What, how do you see that with this group of like trying to figure out like how to win and close? Yeah, no, I think it's, it's uh, everything we've talked about. We have to be just better and tougher in those moments. And then, um, I think a couple of times we got to trust the pass a little bit more than what what we what we've done. But at the same time, we we really got a couple of the looks that we exactly wanted, if I'm being honest. So, Is it more mental than physical. You know, I think there's probably some of that. You know, we we got to get over the hump there. You know, in, in some of those areas, guys got to just you know, uh, kind of some of these guys are are. Um, you know, we're going through it. They're young in their career, and we just got to be able to rely a little bit higher level on our defense and then be able to convert some of those easy looks. 
Uh, the, the kind of the three guys who are your leading scorers. How concerned were you before the season? Are you still concerned? I know we just talked about it a little bit, but like, man, if you know somebody could really step up, what would that mean for this team? If 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 a different guy maybe on each night kind of helped fill a gap. Yeah, I think we we've just got to, we've got to look at it as a staff and see, um, you know, who that might be. And it it may not be you know, one particular guy. It just may be a little bit more from a, from a number of guys. I think, you know, the challenge is right now is, you know, we really need, we need high level detail stuff from, from uh, some of, some guys right now uh, on both ends. And I think that, that alone would, would help us. Um, and that's what we're challenging with. Chris, when, I want to go back a little bit. You're talking about the screens. So uh, you guys did a good job in the first half, especially of getting overball screens, especially whether it was Bruce or Roddy or Scotty. But when you when they went under, it kind of seemed like they were getting uh, open mid-range jumpers. Do you plan to address that either in terms of hedging or blitzing a little bit more? When we were going, we weren't going under many many ball screens. Yeah, they they got they got to the mid range a couple times in a couple isolation situations. Um, they uh, they made a three off of an inbound when we went under and we shouldn't have. Um, but outside of that, uh, there weren't many times that they got open looks off of us going under. Um, but they did get to the mid range a couple times and they straight line drove us. And uh, we had poor communication on an ice on the side uh, where they drove it and got to the lane. When you talk about identifying secondary scoring, how close is Scotty to being that kind of guy that can kind of take that next step and take on more of a load offensively? Yeah, you know, I think for him right now, he's got to kind of let it happen. When he lets it happen right now, he's he's really effective for us. You saw that in the Indiana game. Um, I think he's got to – sometimes he can get a little bit um, – force things a little bit. He's just got to let it happen. He's got to stay aggressive, let it happen. I do think when he does that, uh, there's going to be opportunities for him to be another score that we need for sure. You guys, uh, AJ Store was really shooting yeah. well in the first half. In the second half, you did a good job of containing him. But then some other guys like Chucky and Max kind of started going, get, uh, getting going in the second half. How do you think you did a good job of containing Store at least in the second? Yeah, we changed our coverage on him and uh, put two on him um, in a couple situations. And then uh, the one late hurt us because he was able to kick it to Klesmet, uh for an open three. But outside of that, we were able to kick contain him with the change in ball screen. Um, but like I said, um, it allow it did allow Eleven to get a clean look. Two more, no, and then Chris uh, Felix had a big and one there off an offensive rebound, and then followed that with a huge block. What kind of impact does he have on this team, both defensively and then in, in rebounding, especially offensively? I thought he was good in the second half. I did not think his effort was where it needed to be in the first half, but I thought in the second half he was really good for us. Looking at, at the stat sheet, like we were talking about it before you guys came in here, there's not much that really stands out as far as being a, a huge separator. And so with respect to the fact that you're playing the number 15 team in the country and Wisconsin does a lot of good things, like this is a second straight loss, and I know it's tough to win in, in the league, but like what gives you confidence that this – you, you, this team has what it needs to not let this spiral. Yeah, no, I, I have a high-level belief in this team. I, I really do. Yeah, I'm being completely honest. I have a high-level belief in this team and what we're doing and um, the fact that we're going to grow. Um, you know, last year is last year. You know, I've got – this is a different group. Um, the leadership uh, is different, and it's early in the season. And I think the, the challenge for us right now is to take this and learn from it and grow. We have to be tougher uh, in certain areas. We've got to be able to finish plays. But uh, now I've, I've really got a high-level belief in this group, and I can't emphasize that enough. doesn't mean we're not going to have some struggles. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I really do think the challenge for us now as coaches and players is to learn from this, uh, take some of the positives that were real, uh, in this right now, uh, feel the disappointment and have that challenge us to be better in the areas that, that we need to be better in. We need to finish plays better. We need to be able to obviously make our free throws. We need to have the confidence to make um, uh, open looks. And uh, uh, I think we need to be able to rely on our defense to close games out better than what we, what we did. So uh, I'm confident in all those things, uh, and I'm really confident in this group. All right, guys.